Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you one of the nicest looking light armor styles in the Elder Scrolls Online, okay? So for once in our lives, we're not going to be head to toe in gold. You know, we're going to be like head to waist in gold because it's still the nicest color probably you can get. But, you know, I'll, I'll add a bit of black in for once. So I'm just going to go over the style here and then I'm going to get into what every piece is and, you know, what way you want to die and stuff like that. The first thing we're going to start off with is the head. So I never wear hoods or anything like that generally because, you know, it usually looks awful. Especially light armor and medium armor. They, you know, just look awful more or less all the time. Only time I'd really wear a helmet is if I'm on a tank. So you can see I've got my nice little hair, my nice little beard, right? Look all tough, all vikingy. So apart from that, what we're going to do is we're going to get the nice tight shirt, okay? So I've got, I think it's a Sunspire shirt or Dragon Guard shirt, one of the two. Uh, got a nice gold trim on it, nice gold around the arms, and the arms are quite nice. So a bit of his arm poking out so you can see the skin still, the design of the VHA skin. Uh, a little bit of the chest, so again, you can see the skin. Okay, so for a shoulder piece, we got the Molar Cannon shoulder piece again. So it's really finely designed, looks really nice. It's probably the nicest looking shoulder piece in the game. Basically every other shoulder piece I tried to use for a side fit just looked awful. I tried not to use Molo Kana for a long time, but unfortunately it's the only nice one. So if you don't want Molo Kana, just take your shoulder piece off. For the arms, basically what we have here, we have these nice little bulky bracer type things. You know, they're quite nice. Got the gold on them, nice little jewelry type things, little golden medallions on them. Looks pretty cool, a little bit of fur. The bell, we got a big bulky bell with dragon on it. Looks cool, fits in with the uh, little chest piece we have there with the little tiny circles. Bell's just a big circle in the middle, goes well. Trousers we have basically I think they're going to be refabricated so they look really nice so I've got the kind of like little half skirt type thing with the trim on it, it looks really cool and you've also got the trousers underneath so the gold trim looks really cool ties it all in so for the boots we have CPR boots because like in every video there's no other nice light armor boots I've tried I've looked they're all awful but yeah and then apart from that all we got is a welcome our stuff because it's cool it has wings so I'm going to go over to the table here and just show you the whole outfit and what each piece is so basically for a helmet again we're not wearing any helmet because it just looks silly you're gonna wear one of these hoods or like this weird thing with the horns on it and like you know you're gonna look stupid okay so we also got the sunspire chest so again looks kind of cool it's got a nice trim on it it's got a nice jewelry around it it's got the nice little tight arms and it makes your guy look a bit bulkier and also your arms get to stick out of the costume a little bit to show off your skin so for shoulder piece again more like kind of shoulder piece nice and bulky probably the nicest looking shoulder in the game um the other option is simply just to take your shoulder off and have your guy wearing just a plain shirt so that looks kind of cool as well. It makes him look a little bit more basic, a little bit more just like a normal guy. So for the gloves, we have the dried horn gloves. So it makes your guy look a little bit more bulky, a little bit cooler. I've also went for a bit of a Nordic look with my guy, so it ties in quite well there. And you've also got these two golden circles you can tie in with the jewelry from the chest piece. So for the belt, basically we got the Lyris Titanborn girdle. So reason for this, it's, it's got a dragon on it. It's a big circle, looks kind of nice. Uh, for the legs, we got refabricated breeches. So it's quite nice, it's got this little kind of skirt type thing going on here with a gold trim around it and a nice little design near the top and then we've also got the nice black uh chargers underneath to go nicely with the shoes and then for boots as per usual we got cp arc shoes because you know the rest of the shoes look awful but these are quite nice nice little gold trim on them and they can be designed quite well okay so i like those for the weapon we've got a welcome our staff so again welcome our staff just one of the nicer looking staffs got a nice little i think it's an eagle on it i hope it's an eagle it looks pretty eagerly Okay, so I'm just going to go over all the dyes for everything, okay? So I'm just going to say black, orange, okay? Basically for each slot. Uh, black being cold, hot, rash, black, orange being blood, red, wine, okay? So for the head, of course, we don't actually use any dyes because we're not wearing a helmet. For the chest, we go black, orange, black. Uh, for shoulder, we go orange, black, orange. Hands, we go orange, black, orange. For waist, we just go black because you can only dye one space, so make it black. For the legs, we go black, orange, black. For the feet, we go orange, orange, black. For the staff, we go orange, orange, black as well, okay? So that's how I dyed everything. That's the way it makes it look nice. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully you guys think the iPhone looks quite cool. Uh, if you do, remember to leave a like on it. Maybe subscribe to the channel for some more videos like this. And I will see you next time, okay?